welcome back to the Distressed Princess. Here are the DIYs I'm working on today. DIY number one. For this one, you'll need a floral gift bag. Mine came from Dollar Tree. A wooden stake, which mine came from the Dollar General. And this printout, which I will link in my description box down below. Oh, you'll also need some jute string or twine for a hanger. The first thing you need to do is cut off its handles and also that plastic hanger tag, which was perforated and it just pops right off. Next, you'll take your wooden stake and cut it into two pieces. Well, after removing the label first, of course. And this is, I think, called a tomato steak and it was only $1 and it came from Dollar General Store. So the first thing I did was get an idea of how much I wanted hanging out over the sides because I'm going to have two pieces, one for the top and one for the bottom. They need to be the same length, but I'm going to let a little bit hang out on the sides. I measured out 15 inches and that looked like a good enough size for me. So I made a mark and then I measured out another 15 inches. So I have two segments. There's gonna be two pieces, 15 inches each. And then I used my hand saw to make the cuts. Here's a layout of how everything is going to go. Next, hot glue your stakes in place at the top and bottom of the bag. Since I didn't cut the bag apart because I wanted it to be sturdy, so I wanted it to have both of its sides, the top end is open and you need to hot glue that together. At first I was using a tape, you know, the tape dispensing, the tape glue, but I ran out of that in the middle of trying to get it glued down. So then I just turned to my regular white school glue. And the last step is to make a hanger for this piece and I just used jute string and I hot glued it to the back. I think this is just the cutest little wall decoration for just $2. DIY number two. 
For this one, you'll need a picture frame, and mine came from the Family Dollar Store. And you'll need this printout, which I will link in the description box. And you'll need the paint colors of your choice and a paint pen. The first order of business is to disassemble the picture frame. So that means taking off its tag and popping the back off and getting the glass part out. By the way, this is a trick that I got off TikTok. You put your printout, and it could be anything. It doesn't have to be this picture. I just wanted it to be flowers. But put your picture underneath the glass, and then you're going to use the paint pen to trace around. This paint pen came from Michaels, and I have to tell you, I was really impressed with it. I think I like it even better than the Sharpie paint pens because I hardly ever had to shake it back down. It didn't run dry a whole lot. And also it was able to do the little details in those smaller flowers, even though it's got a pretty wide tip, it was, a, it was really good at doing the details too. Now get ready for the painting. And I mixed together some of my paints to get more pastel colors than what I had on hand, but use whatever colors makes your heart happy. And this is so much fun. All you have to do is make sure that you stay within the very outside lines. So my whole flower is going to be pink, but of course, if you wanted to be very artistic, you could paint each petal a different color if you wanted, or each ring of the flower could be different colors. You could just use your imagination to do all sorts of things with this technique. Also, I wanted to throw out there that you don't have to use a black paint pen. You could pick the color of your choice, and I do have a white paint pen, and I think it would be really pretty with white outlines too. This is what mine looked like when I got all my flowers painted. While my paint was drying, I removed the little tabs on the back of the frame with my wire cutters, and they were really easy to just pull out of the back. Then use super glue, fix all adhesive from the Dollar Tree, or you could use E6000 or whatever adhesive glue you like to use, but it has to be a strong one, and run along the inside lip of the frame where the glass goes. And for the immediate hold, I also used hot glue. Is the suspense killing you? I purposefully waited till the very end of this as long as I could to flip it over for the big reveal. I am so in love with how this looks and all the possibilities, guys. Loving, loving, loving. And the last step is to reattach a hanger onto the back and I just hot glued one in place. Seriously, the most fun project I've made in a good while.
DIY number three. You'll need a small little bud vase, mine came from Dollar Tree, some white chalk paint, and some stickers from the Dollar Tree, your choice, but I wanted flowers, of course. And you'll also need some jute string, which I forgot to picture. The first step is to do two coats of the chalk paint on your bed face. Then use the wet distressing method. I just use a wet paper towel to go over a few little places on the bud vase to make it look a little distressed. Then get out your jute twine and wrap a good little bit of it around the neck of the bud vase and hot glue in place. Of course you have your whole wide world choice of flowers to use, but I used the little pink roses from the Dollar Tree and some white hydrangeas. I only used two of the roses and I actually wind up removing some of the greenery from the hydrangeas because it was just covering up too many of the pretty flowers. Now Dollar Tree has all kinds of these 3D kind of stickers that they pop out and oh my goodness, I can't resist them. Every time I'm there, I have to pick up whatever new pack or even multiple packs of ones I already have because look how cute they are. They're just so stinking cute. Anyhow, pick out your sticker and just put it right on the vase. Never mind that I knocked my flowers right out of my vase trying to get my sticker on. That's okay. <laughs> just put them back later. What a happy, happy little flower decoration. I love it. And here's a look back at all the pretty flower decorations we made today. Thanks for stopping by today and watching my little floral video. If you liked this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. See you next time. Bye.